Jeffrey Small, President Arbor Financial. Thank you for being with us. So let's start with the lag effect. So what are you talking about? The latency of the Fed? Well, sure. The latency of the Fed is here. I think we're going to see them really pause rates from this moment forward. There's no really reason to raise rates at this stage. If they do raise rates, I think they're going to commit economic suicide from here. So with the banking issues, uh, with the economy slowing down, with lending restrictions, we're starting to see cars finally starting to pile up on the new car dealership lots. And so that lag effect is finally starting to become entrenched in middle America. And so from here, it makes no sense for the Fed to raise rates. Well, I mean, at the same time, they've been they've still been giving us somewhat of a hawkish message. I mean, they're certainly not saying they're definitely pausing, nor are they saying they are going to cut. But uh, they are concerned about inflation peaking back up. And so if they were to raise rates in June and even July, because now people are talking about that, they, in theory, could then cut rates end of the year, new year, to undo it. I mean, they may see that as a way or a path. Well, you're exactly right, Nicole. But what we do know is that the average rate decrease in the last 11 rate hiking cycles happens five months after the last rate hike. And so if they stop on June 1st or they stop now, we're looking at November, December, January, when they start to decrease rates to reaccelerate the economy. Um, and that's the market's really pricing that in right now. We're in the middle of a screaming bull market rally in big tech. It's already had a year's worth of gains um, in four or five months. Yeah, well, at this point now, um, you know, we have to come up with a strategy because, I mean, let's assume they pause because that seems the most likely scenario at this point. I mean, anytime they raise rates, it's like the putting the brakes on the economy, right? Um, to quote Elon Musk. That being said, you've had names in the growth sector which have been viewed somewhat as value um, and safety this year because people did run to them. Tell me about some of these big names that you like when you look at Google, Meta, Amazon. Why are these the names that you've liked and you continue to like? They've done very well. Kudos to you. Well, they have more room to run, Nicole. You can't really say that they're going to have diminished demand for their products. It's actually going to grow. The demand for that core group of Fang and Microsoft, NVIDIA and Tesla is really going to grow. They have no competition and their ability to make future profits is higher. So their PE is going to expand. Now, right now, X Fang PE on the S&P is around 15 X. Several global markets, including Europe and Asia, are at their all time maximums right now price wise. And the S&P is actually the laggard. And so now the market's going to price in once earnings bottom out in the second quarter, and those announcements will come out next midsummer for 2023, the market's going to start pricing in the rest of the market to rally as earnings start to begin to reaccelerate in the third and fourth quarter and in anticipation of the Fed starting to decrease right. rates. Let's go through them one by one. Give me a quick thought on each. So Alphabet Google, um, why this one as a pick? Well, they just had a nice bump because of their AI announcement. Um, they're going to apply AI to every aspect of search engine and Google use, and it's going to improve the quality of our lives. I mean, imagine asking it, you know, uh, Google Maps, go ahead and give me a tour of my current map. Show me street by street, and all of a sudden it just pops up. But it'll be nice to make everything verbal. And so AI, of course, is the future. Google will definitely have a play in that. But as I said before, their demand for their products will continue to expand, Nicole. And then Meta? Well, you know, I've always loved Meta. Um, I love Meta because they have incredible amounts of cash flow, probably more cash flow off their top line as a net compared to the rest of the big tech plays here. And always with a few minor moves on their balance sheet, they can make their earnings better than anybody else every quarter. And I said that with you beginning in December and look what's happened. And so I expect the demand for Meta to actually continue. Um, these are staples in our lives. I did use a, a VR headset for Meta recently, and I got to say, I was pretty impressed. Now, I'm not making any predictions on VR, but I think Meta is one of those staples whose earnings will continue to increase and grow, even if the economy flatlines. 
All right. Well, I mean, I will say here that Amazon and Google, and I want to hear your thoughts on Amazon. Um, Amazon and Google are up about 37% this year. Meta is up over 100% this year. I am curious what kind of upside potential you see. Are you talking 5%, 10%, 20% room to the upside? And what is it about Amazon that you like as the trend, as it's been trending higher and the golden cross looks set to form? It does. Amazon is probably oversold right now. Um, I've got a price target of 140 on Amazon in the next 12 months. Um, you know, that's not going to change. Amazon is a staple of where we shop today. It's where my kids go to buy Mother's Day presents. Um, you know, and of course, consumers are starting to pull back a little bit. So Amazon's top line numbers are down. That's why the stock is down. Their profits are shrinking at this time. But when earnings begin to reaccelerate, this is one you're going to want to own. So over the next two to three months, you're probably going to get some good ability to buy the dips in the mid 90s to lower 90s. Uh, but anything over 105, don't buy and then hold it for 12 to 18 months and you'll see it'll pop to about 140. Mm. And what were your price targets on the other two? Do you have targets on those? On Google and, and Meta? Yeah. My price target on Meta is $300. My price target on Google, is, Google in 12 months is 160. All right. I thank you for all of that exciting stuff, Jeffrey Small. Nice to see you, President. I've been right Harbor so far, Financial. so have me back on when we see those prices. Look, you have absolutely been right so far. Thank you.